Hello everybody, so today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about complex numbers. So now I will show you the technique. Two complex numbers, z1, z2, are such that the absolute value of z1 plus z2 equals to the absolute value of z1 minus z2. Prove that a and b z1 and a and b z2 difference by b over 2 or 3b over 2 so now i will show you the technique so we move about z1 equal to a plus b i and we have z1 this is about a b just like the vector in here z number 2 we got about c plus b i and we got about z2 in the vector should be about c and d so we have this equation in here so z1 plus z2 so you got about a plus c and we got about b plus d and we have small i in here z1 minus z2 so we got about a minus c and we got about b minus d so we put them inside the absolute value so you will got about the square root a plus b a plus a plus c to the power of 2 b plus d to the power of 2 similar Similar for z1 minus z2. So you got about the square root a minus c square plus b minus d square. So we have this equation in here. So we got about two, two things they eat. They have the same in here. So we got about a plus c to the power of two, b plus d to the power of two equals to a minus c to the power of two. And we got about b minus d to the power of 2. So you got about a square plus 2ac plus c square plus b square plus 2pd. And on the right, we got about a square minus 2ac plus c square plus b square minus 2pd plus d square and now we simplify this one with this one this one with this one this one with this one and this one with this one so we put this one and this one go to the left and we got we got about 4ac plus 4bd equal to number 0 in here we divide both sides with number 4 and we got about ac 
plus bd equal to number zero in here. We know that we had a vector point in here. If we look carefully about this one, this just like the vector. If a multiplied with c plus b multiplied with d, they got about zero like this. That means two vectors in here. They are perpendicular. So the angle of perpendicular that should be about b over two, or maybe. 3p over 2 why I will show for you here is about the vector in here we know this is about b over 2 so the angle behind of this one in here that should be about 3p over 2 this is the reason why we got about 3p over 2 and this is the technique why you got about the difference between z1 and z2 is about p over 2 or 3p over 2. That's the end. Thank you for watching.